All right, All let's right. go. Roll yeah, let's low. get into it. This, this is, is the third we... straight day you guys are giving us some teaching moments from from port or from parts of games as you guys were watching last night and that uh, like I said maybe young players can can apply moving forward. Yeah I'm getting a lot of feedback on on social media from youth coaches saying hey we're clipping this off using it as teaching moments. We have a lot of fun. There's a lot of silly on the show but no one does it better than Billy Rip going through the fundamentals of the game. So as we're sitting there on the four box last night there's a couple different plays that jumped out at me that I just scratched down. And I want to get Billy's opinion on it. Let's start in Philadelphia. I want to give Bryson Stott some love right here. Pause this. Check out the bug. one nothing Baltimore. Man on first, right? Run it. Adam Frazier, bullet down the line. Where are we setting up? Home, 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 home. Four. Set up home with the thought of three. And Bryson Stott right there. When we get to high home, what I love about him is the game moves slow for him. OK, so he's setting up four like he's got to play at the plate with this guy, but he kind of takes a peek and realizes there's no shot at home. So I'm coming up wheeling to third base right out of the gate. Lucas, back that up a little bit for me, please. Stay. All right. So what happened to because what I love about everything that was happening. Yeah, we got center fielder coming in because it's going to be a little unoccupied. Trey Turner's going to come in here because if it's a double he's got to be here. But yes. as soon as it's a sure double he's got to line up to three. This is good. This is good. This was not so good. And he's trying to make an effort. Right. But this was not so good because he started in this pattern right here. As soon as that happens, you got to get midway point between third and home because those are the two possibilities. You got to get as deep as you can. Because as soon as you get as deep as you can, you make the determination where the throw is going to be made. You're going to be late. If this gets by him, this run's going to score because of this. And we don't want that. So I liked everything about this. We got a little bit lazy as the pitcher went because that throw is going to be up the line yes and that runs going to score once again I don't like the third out of third I don't throw. like where Adam Frazier is going in that situation don't but like I thought it. Bryson Stott did an amazing job and let the field youth coaches let the field you're playing on those shorter fields you don't need to double cut you saw Bryson Stott Citizens Park is, is skinny down that right field line he can handle that by himself all right where are we going Stott next? up at home plate Stott up at home plate right here Let's give some love to I love aggressive base running. I don't like foolish base running. I like aggressive base running. You think Bryce Harper wants this. He wants to tie the game and you try and teach the kids. Where are you supposed to hit the bag. He never breaks stride. He's hitting the inside part of the bag. I used to listen to Jeff Bagwell talk about I almost wanted to use the inside part of the bag as a baby trampoline that kind of springboard me towards the next base. Watch Bryce Harper because the number one takeaway I have from this he wants to score. Oh yeah. You're he always thinking the extra base. So the idea of Bryce Harper when he runs the bases there's a want to kids. When a double's hit and you're on first, third's a given. Yep. Home is the plus one that you want. Always think about the plus one. Make the coach stop you instead of forcing him to make a bad decision. Bryce Harbor does that as well as anybody. All right, Brandon Lau, take me down to Tampa. 3-1 game, bullet up the middle. Randy Arozarain is on first base. We're going to try and stretch this into a double on a bad throw right there from the outfielder. Uh oh, Luis Arise. Pitcher was in the spot he's supposed to be. At. Randy Rosarena does some pretty occasional silly Crazy things stuff. out on the field. Air mail. So pause that for me right there. Back it up a little bit right there. Lowe's coming around first base hot. He's reading the throw. Once he sees that air mail, Joey Wendell, he knows he's got second base. Keep that That's frozen. Your first thing. Keep that frozen because do we not get in the right spot as a pitcher enough where. Uh oh, uh oh, we forgot about him. Yep. He's supposed to be there. Keep so running. play that. Watch this. Oh. Pitcher's in the right spot. Ro Rosarena is wearing all camo because I can't be seen. Look at this. No one sees he has me. No idea. I'm invisible. I'm invisible. Got him. Yeah. But by the way, why in the world do you call him safe to begin with? <laughs> all right, I want to talk about one thing real quick right here. Freeze it. Now, in this situation, you're better served as a center fielder. 
I got to get Wendell a little bit deeper. I, I have to get him a little bit deeper because he's going to cut the ball off. In the ideal perfect scenario right here, this should end up first and third with one out. Yep. Because the, the throw right here by the center fielder, you're trying to make some chicken salad out of some chicken stuff. You really are. There's no way you're, you're not going to get him. So if you hit Wendell right there, this dude's going to give you an out. You could probably back get him in a rundown. You hit the cutoff man right here because he's Correct. coming around way hotter than he should. He was guaranteed to be running. Guaranteed. But anyway, look, I'm cloaked. You can't see me. Camo. How good is that? You're the third base coach, first base coach. I coach first with the kid. I, if someone gets picked off, I'm chapped. You should be. All right. Ding. Last one. I just wanted your feelings on this. Because well, you know I hate making the third out of third base. But do you take the aggressiveness away from Manny Margot? But I love Joey Wendell Ding. playing short, coming over to kind of back up Gene Segura and knowing he's got to be at third base. Right. Boom! Aggressive I base runner right there. But I, I still don't like it because of the third out. But look at Wendell, because I was getting on him for not being deep enough on the last play. Yeah. But I said this two days ago. I said it yesterday. If defenses can simply execute the game of catch. And that's all they did right there. Third baseman to the first baseman, first baseman to the shortstop at third base. They played catch twice. When you do that, they will give you outs. Yeah. And you got an extra bonus one for us. It's not on a tile. No, we got a wrap. We got a, we're sitting on a guest. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, that was really good. I had a I, lather I going that. right there. <laughs> I, ser seriously, I, I learned something every time you guys do that. Oh, Robert. Good stuff. Good stuff.